For a flapjacks, you need basically some porridge oats or rolled oats. These I've got from the unicorn. Some golden syrup, which is basically just a form of sugar. Some ordinary sugar, which is confusingly in this cocoa jar and some margarine, or we can use butter or oil as well. Okay? Well, you start off, and you can also put a lot of other things in. For example, I, I often put apricots in, but um, or glacé cherries. I've decided just for this one, I'll just do very basic flapjacks, which I've been cooking for years and never seem to come up the same twice. Anyway, what you need is a pan like this. Not too big, because I find you really need to push the flapjack mixture solidly into it because one of the big problems with flapjacks is they're being too crumbly. And what I do is I use an old butter wrapper like this to just grease it. I suppose it's just a, an, I don't like throwing things away unnecessarily so I use this just to, to grease the pan and then I throw it away. I used to use these when I was a kid for um, when we went to the slides in the park to make them go faster. You basically need 16 ounces of oats. That's one pound of oats. So I'm measuring that out. You also need roughly five ounces of sugar and five ounces of golden syrup. I, I tend to put a bit less in because I don't like them too sweet, but that's what the recipe says. So um, basically, I, I, in order to make sure that that dissolves properly together with the margarine, I put the margarine in a pan and then let it melt slowly and then add the sugar and the syrup to, to that and then add the rest of the mixture. So I'll do that now. Here's the cooker already on, just use the lid. So I'm putting the margarine, I've weighed this out previously. Hi, um, as you can see, the margarine's all, all melted now, just over very low heat, and then you turn it off. It's, by the way, it's 10 ounces of margarine. I hope I gave the right amount earlier. Um, about the same amount of sugar and golden syrup would go in it. So I'll throw those in with it. I'll just give a rough approximation of the sugar. And I'll squeeze the golden syrup to about a third of this bottle. about that. Mix all that in so that that dissolves. And then you throw in the oats. And mix those up. Remember you've turned the heat off you, don't, you only need it to melt the margarine, not to cook it at all. It's going to cook in the oven. And basically, when you mix all this up, and it gets all sort of mushy, it takes a while. So all the oats seem to have some sort of, of the margarine and syrup mixture soaked into them. So now you put it in the pan, which you, the uh, baking tray, which you pre prepared earlier, and then just throw it in. Is that you're fitting it into the pan? You try and get it fairly even. into the edges and have it reasonably the same thickness obviously. Let me get the wooden one here. Just to really press it in because you hope effectively that the flapjack will stick together because there's nothing more irritating than a flapjack that just sort of crumbles into bits which I must admit is frequently the case. So I, I'm now going to put it in the oven at gas mark 
gas mark 190 degrees centigrade, which is fairly hot. Not sure I've got it about that. So in 20 minutes it should be okay. If you if you want it done a bit harder, then leave it in for about 25 minutes. But I've put a tray over the top of it to stop it um, burning on the top. Okay, we'll come back when it's ready. Right, okay, it's ready to take out now. Switch off the alarm. Take out the flat jet. Obviously using oven gloves because it's very hot. And there it is. You can see I've, I've put it on longer than it says on the recipe. I put it in for, for 25 minutes rather than 20 minutes because I like it well done. Now, one of the tricks as well is not to cut it now, but wait till it's cool before you cut it into pieces. Well, I've um, waited for the flapjacks to cool off a bit. They're not totally cool, so it's perhaps not the best time, but I can't wait any longer, I've decided. So I'm going to try and cut them, just with a, an ordinary knife, so you, you don't want it too sharp, or else it might scratch the, um, the baking tin. And I just tend to do them in fairly large pieces. Mm. <laughs> Almost perfect. Put it in the tin. Let's try another one. Now that's perfect. A flapjack, nice and big enough to enjoy. What I find, I, um, I take these into work. When we're having a coffee at a meeting, I'll offer people homemade flapjacks. And I find they might, later on, a couple of weeks later, they might have totally forgotten about the rest of the meeting, but they do remember the fact that they've been given homemade flapjacks. <laughs> so I always find that worthwhile. So there you go, Bernard's. Very easy flapjacks made with oats and syrup. And should I try one? Well, I'll just try this bit that's fallen off. Just right, very nice.